Yesterday I showed you how to read the pattern for this booty. If you haven't watched the video you can click on the info card in the upper right corner. Today I will show you how to knit the booty. First make sure the racking handle is in its lowest position. Raise 34 needles on the front bed, 17 to the left and 17 to the right side of zero. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. Raise 34 needles on the back bed, you have to observe the needle rule. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. You can see the needles up close. Set both locks to N and the stitch size to 4. Insert the orange strippers and take the yarn. I will use light blue acrylic yarn. Knit one row. It should look like this. Set both loops to CX and increase the stitch size to 4.5. Now knit two rows. It should look like this. Set both locks to N and increase the stitch size to 5. Knit one row to finish the cast on. It should look like this. Clear the row counter and set both locks to CX. Remove the orange strippers and insert the black ones. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. The needles must be opposite to each other. Now knit 8 rows. I will use these 7 shaped weight hangers. Put them on both sides of the knitting and attach weights to them. Now knit 8 more rows. You may skip this step and directly knit 16 rows without attaching weights. Clear the row counter, remove the edge springs on the right, take the double eye bodkin to and transfer 14 stitches to the back bed. Pull the yarn from the lock and wrap it around the annex lever. Take the white tool and cast off these 14 stitches. Pick the rightmost stitch from the back bed and hook it onto the needle on the left. Raise the needle all the way so both stitches slide behind the latch and with your other hand wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch and into the hook. Then pull the needle back to knit off those stitches. Transfer the stitch to the next needle and continue the same way. Transfer the last stitch into the hook of the needle on the back bed. It must have two stitches into its hook. Close the latches and place the edge springs back on the last needles. Remove the yarn from the annex lever and put all empty needles on both beds out of working position. Now knit one row. Remove the left edge springs and use the double eye bodkin tool to transfer 14 stitches to the back bed. Pull the yarn from the lock and wrap it around the annex lever. Take the white tool and cast off these 14 stitches. 
Pick the leftmost stitch from the back bed and hook it onto the needle on the right. Raise the needle all the way so both stitches slide behind the latch and with your other hand wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch and into the hook. Then pull the needle back to knit off those stitches. Transfer the stitch to the next needle and continue the same way. Transfer the last stitch into the hook of the needle on the back bed. It must have two stitches into its hook. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. Remove the yarn from the annex lever. You may need to pull it to tension it again. Use the orange ruler and put all empty needles on both beds out of working position. Knit one row. Rotate the rocking handle clockwise to its lowest position. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX, the stitch size to 3.5 and, and press the right arrow key. Set the back lock to N and the stitch size to 3.5. Remove the black strippers and insert the orange ones. Raise pushers and their own needles in working position on the front bed and arrange them in one-to-one -one division. The leftmost pusher must be in working position. Knit 22 rows. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to end and press the zero key. Put all pushers in resting position and knit 29 rows. The lock must be on the left side of the machine. Raise 22 needles on the right on the front bed of the machine and move the edge spring to the last working needle. Raise 22 needles to the right on the back bed of the machine and move the edge spring to the last working needle. It should look like this. Now knit one row. Raise 22 needles to the left on the front bed of the machine and move the edge spring to the last working needle. Raise 22 needles to the left on the back bed of the machine and move the edge spring to the last working needle. Now knit 2 rows. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX and press the right arrow key. Raise pushers and their own needles in working position on the front bed and arrange them in one-to-one -one division. The leftmost pusher must be in working position. Now knit 20 rows. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to end and press the zero key. Put all pushers out of working position. Now knit 2 rows. Clear the row counter, set both locks to CX and increase the stitch size to 4.5. Rotate the racking handle anti-clockwise to its upper position. Remove the right edge springs and transfer 22 stitches to the back bed. Pull the yarn from the lock and wrap it around the annex lever. Take the white tool and cast off these 22 stitches. Pick the rightmost stitch from the back bed and hook it onto the needle on the left. Raise the needle all the way so both stitches slide behind the latch and with your other hand wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch and into the hook. Then pull the needle back to knit off those stitches. Transfer the stitch to the next needle and continue the same way.
transfer the last stitch into the hook of the needle on the back bait. It must have two stitches into its hook. Place the edge spring on the last working needle. Remove the yarn from the annex lever. Put all empty needles on the front bed out of working position and place the edge spring on the last working needle. Put all empty needles on the back bed out of working position and knit one row. Pull the yarn from the lock and wrap it around the annex lever. Remove the edge springs and transfer 22 stitches to the back bed. Take the white tool and cast off these 22 stitches. Pick the leftmost stitch from the back bed and hook it onto the needle on the right. Raise the needle all the way so both stitches slide behind the latch and with your other hand wrap the yarn from the lock behind the latch and into the hook. Then pull the needle back to knit off those stitches. Transfer the stitch to the next needle and continue the same way. Transfer the last stitch into the hook of the needle on the back bed. It must have two stitches into its hook. You must have six needles in working position on the front and six needles in working position on the back bed. Place the edge springs on the last working needles. Remove the yarn from the annex lever and pull it back to fix the tension. Take the orange tool, put all empty needles out of working position and knit one row. Clear the row counter, set the front lock to AX, the stitch size to 3.5 and, and press the right arrow key. Set the back lock to N and the stitch size to 3.5. Rotate the racking handle clockwise to its lowest position, raise pushers and the row needles in working position on the front bed and arrange them in 1 to 1 division. Now need 24 rows. Put all pushers in resting position, then clear the row counter, set the front lock to N, increase the stitch size to 5 and press the 0 key. On the back lock increase the stitch size to 5. Knit one row, lower the front bed, remove the weights, take the yellow tool and make a zigzag latch cast off. When you take the last stitch, cut the yarn from the lock, wrap it behind the latch into the hook and pull it through. Now raise the front bed and remove the knitting from the machine. It should look like this. Now you have to sew it. You can see how to sew it on the chart and the pictures. I still can't make an invisible seam, so it's pointless to show you how to sew it. Sew a button in a loop from my cord and the booty is ready. It should look like this. Of course, if you sew it better, it will look better. Don't forget to send me a photo of your booty on my Facebook page. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video.